Hello guys, in this video let's talk about very typical mistake of newbies. The thing is they really like to move the queen to the game in very early beginnings. Let's see why it's dangerous and how it can be punished. Let's go to the first example. So, e4, e5, knight f3. Whites are good, they just develop their pieces. And black instead of also developing their pieces like moving knight c6. They decide to defend the pawn with the queen. White continue developing their pieces. Bishop c4. And black continue their tricky plan, as they think. Queen g6. With the double treatment to the, this and these two pawns. Hey, we're gonna win one pawn, black thing. White continue their development with the castling. And g2 pawn is defended now black happily takes the e4 central power and also black treats the white bishop they think they're good but they're gonna be punished because bishop immediately sacrificed to f7 check king f7 and now you're gonna find the last winning move for white right yeah it's a king's fork check and queen treatment now let's move to the next example where white do the same mistake moving the queen to the game very early e4 e5 queen h5 you know this scores made treatment and also queen treats this central pawn going to take it and to make this check but it appears black is not obliged to defend this pawn and they just can go simply Knight f6, develop their knight and treat the queen. Okay, whites think they are good. And they take this pawn. Check. Okay, fine. Blacks just defend with the bishop. Okay, white develops their bishop to c4. And black develops their knight with the queen's treatment. Again, this early moved queen is under treatment all the time. White should save their queen, queen f4, and black castle. Now look at the board, only one pawn missed for black, but almost all these pieces are developed and castling is done. Okay, whites also want to do the castling, knight f3. And here we go, d5. The general chess rule, if the king is in the center, you should explore the center. And also we treat this bishop. So what to do? white takes here we go bishop d6 we treat this queen which was early moved and which is always in trouble now please note that queen cannot go this line because here rook e8 will pin it with the king so queen should go this way anyway rook e8 check is a good idea check white should defend with the bishop for example and here we go, knight b4, we treat from the other side. We want to make this fork for the rook and the king. Also note this pink bishop, okay? White just cannot do the castling, because if white castle, bishop is left without defense. So castle is impossible here. So white should defend this pawn with the knight a3, okay? Now we take back this central pawn, for which white suffers so much. We just take it back, but white's still in trouble. How would they manage to castle now? They need to defend this bishop, right? We can see. The only way we could notice here is to move knight from c4 to e3 to break this pin, right? So white follows this plan. Knight c4 and f4 to treat this pinned bishop, right? Okay, white could think they in time, they defended this bishop, they broke this pin, but unfortunately black just take it, because what? Because it was the only defender to defend this g2 fork. ta -da! Fork. Queen is lost again because it's moved too early into the game and it was always in trouble. Don't do this mistake. 